hello guys welcome back in another tutorial of mastercam so in today's tutorial we're gonna make this model and then we're gonna make it programming of this model using mastercam tool paths so before get starting i wanna make sure if you are new here please don't forget to subscribe as you can see over here there are lots of mastercam learning so let's get started i already made this model so i'm gonna make it more so you can follow up along as i as i do so let's get started so first of all i'm gonna say this geometry gonna be in inches so you can see over here so let's get started first we're gonna draw a rectangle which gonna be of 7 by 10 so go to master cam create wireframe so go to rectangle make sure our 10 by 7 anchor to center is enabled and then click over here click ok so as you can see our rectangle is drawn now we're gonna go to draw the inner edges you can see over here it is from 4.5 from the center so we're gonna so it indirectly it is 0.5 from the edge so go to master cam line parallel go to 0.5 make sure it's locked and then click over here and like that click ok so you can see our four lines are drawn so now we're gonna go to our divide section sorry trim break extend command make sure break is enabled and then trim to identities and then we're gonna break these lines so for now as you can see all dotted line all the way across once we're gonna click ok and then here you can see our lines are break so similarly we're gonna do in all four inside corners so as you can see all our lines are break so click ok now we're gonna go to fillet identities click ok and then we're gonna make sure our radius as you can see over here it says 0.25 in 8 places so we're gonna go to 0.25 around these corners click ok so you can see our inner edges are ready so now we're gonna go to circles over here you can see we have a six semicircles and then three holes inside which is counter bore from here you can see so first we're gonna draw the inner circles so which gonna be of point 1.2 inch in diameter and then one inch in depth so go to circle center point make sure our diameter gonna be 1.2 and it's locked First, it's gonna be in the center. Then click OK and create another hit space. And you can see over here it is 2.75 from the edge. So 2.75 in X and 0 in Y. Hit enter. You can see we created over here. And similarly, we're gonna create on the left side. Click OK, create another operation. Hit space. And then negative 2.75 in X. Hit comma. To separate y and then 0 on y hit enter as you can see over here it's drawn in the left side so click ok and now we're gonna again go to circle center point this time we're gonna change our dimension of the circle which gonna be of 0 0.18 diameter so this time 0 0.8 sorry 0 0.18 diameter make sure it's locked now simply click inside the circle as you can see our three circles are drawn and now we're gonna draw our six semicircles so for that first we get to know the that dimension of semicircle so it is over here you can see it says one inch in radius so six places so for that click ok one inch in radius and then simply click over here to the two edges and then for these semicircles we need to be get proper x y positions so hit space and from here you can see our axis 
and then r y gonna be 3.5 so 1.5 comma 3.5 hit enter and similarly create another operation negative 1.5 1.5 and then comma 3.5 click ok so for the bottom two we're gonna go to transform go to mirror select these two circles in end selection and then make sure our axis is x offset and it says copy over here so click ok now go to right click of mouse and then click on clear colors so you can see now we're gonna make it semicircle so for that we're gonna go to wireframe divide and then just simply click on the outer circle just to be careful while selecting it's better to zoom in and then similarly you can see our semicircles are drawn and now we're gonna go to again back to trim break extend command and then go to break trim two identities and make sure our in this section all these corners are break so this to this if these are not break it gonna give a hard time in chain selection in our next operation so now you can see all these are eight are broken and now similarly we're gonna broke over here to this circle click ok so now all are break so now our 2d geometry is ready as you can see and now we're gonna go to our solid phase so for that go to view click on levels create another level name it solid and then name first one wireframe and make sure our blue the blue tick is on number two so click ok and you can hide it now we are on level 2 so where we gonna create a solid so go to solid go to extrude and now we gonna before going to extrude we forget our one step as you can see over here we have 0.125 radius in this edges you can see so for that we just we gonna do it later on so now go to extrude select hold shift and select the go over here select the rectangle click ok and then we're gonna change our distance to 2 inch reverse the direction in a downward click ok and create another operation now we select chain carefully click ok cut body change our distance to 1 inch click ok and create another operation similarly we are gonna select these other remaining edges create another operation click ok and create another new operation so now we're gonna click select these shapes add another we're gonna select all these six semicircles click ok and now we're gonna make sure its distance is through all 
and then click OK and create new operation we're gonna select the inner circle all three not this one actually so click OK and now this distance is gonna be cut body and it's gonna be one inch then click OK and create another operation select over here and you another trick is you don't need to select all these circles just simply click, click over here you can see master cam automatically select the symmetrical images symmetrical shapes so click ok and this time this is gonna be through so click ok go to view go to levels make sure to hide our wireframe and then you can see final product is ready for the programming so thanks for watching guys make sure to subscribe like and comment